So do I need to touch the person before no, it no, works? No, no, no. <laughs> Kofin Wallasi, not his real name, is a top medical officer in one of the government health facilities in Ghana. Aside that, Kofi says he has other side businesses in the medical field that keep him in town till late hours. The late night stay and drive in town which had been met with the fear of being attacked on a lonely stretch occasionally required that he got something to protect himself. In 2021, he decided to buy a taser to defend himself. In traffic, someone bought a light, those touch light, and I said, ah, you have something like a taser. And he said, okay, I can come tomorrow and you will show me. So when I went the next day, the Fiesta Royal traffic light, a gentleman walked to me and I said, oh, I'm looking for a taser to buy. Do you have some? And he said, yes. It's in traffic. The box of the taser is somewhere. The taser itself is somewhere. The charger is somewhere the wallet to somewhere. He gives you the price and you are ready to buy. He quickly assembles it and he gives it to you on your lap and he tells you how to use it. It's so short and so quick that these guys are so professional. But they are selling chargers, uh, pen drive, CD, normal touch lights. There's nothing like a taser with them. But when you ask them, they can easily get it for you. If they don't have, they will signal someone to meet you and sell it to you. One of the major reasons why I bought a taser was I, I, I felt like I needed some protection, especially because I go home very late and you get to you get to most of our traffic lights in Accra, you see these young guys who want to clean your screen. And sometimes they wait a rush on you. I felt like I needed some protection. Aside that, where I stay is is, is very quiet. And uh, I felt like I needed something to protect me, either a knife, a gun or something but i felt like there's something like a teaser i could get a teaser kofi said he inquired from other police officers about securing the firearm but got varied information from different officers so after i got a teaser i was now a bit scared what if something happens and i have a teaser is it a weapon am i not supposed to like have it so I spoke to a couple of police officers and one of them said I could go and register. One of them also said, there's nothing like registering a taser. He doesn't know whether a civilian is supposed to have it or not. But when I showed him the one that I have, which is like a small phone, he was like, oh, this is so small that it might not be what we know as a taser. Because what they have is like a torchlight, like a stick. The other one also said, I should keep it all. It can only be used as an exhibit and or something in the case, maybe I'm involved in some criminal activity and they see it, then they will charge me. Kofi is not the only one who has bought a taser on the street. A length of growing concerns by the public who have seen tasers being sold in the open market. So, I decided to investigate. A trader I approached at the Makola market was initially snobbish. She said she was not into the sale of tasers in her shop, but it took only a few minutes of conversation for her to agree to sell me the taser. But she also asked that I wait for the dealer who sells them, but I left. After a few hours, I returned to the shop to meet a gentleman. She said that was the dealer. This dealer initially appeared very nervous. Interestingly, when he finally decided to sell the taser, the middle-aged woman was the one who brought it from inside her shop. The two demonstrated how I would use the taser in less than five minutes. If you're trying to attack, then you press it. So do I need to touch the person before no, it no, works? No, 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 I have to touch it. <laughs> hey. You use the like, like you want to hit. Okay.
I also discovered that these light weapons were being sold to commuters in traffic. On the Jonglu Junction stretch of the N1 highway, men, women, and sometimes children sell a variety of goods ranging from food, beverages, and toiletries. But there is more to what is sold than is displayed to passengers. Bismarck, on a regular day, hawks fire lighter at the Jonglu Junction, but has also been selling tasers and pepper spray, a device primarily used to incapacitate people. At the time of my visit, Bismarck had no tasers available, although it was an item he sold regularly. He only had pepper spray, which he sold at 180 Ghana cities, with assurances that he would get me a taser later. Another worrying development is that the weapon can easily be purchased online. I chanced upon a post on X, formerly Twitter, advertising tasers and pepper spray. I placed an order for a taser. I wanted to pick the taser up to understand how the street worked. Emmanuel, the vendor on eggs, asked that I meet him at a shop front at the Accra Central Market. On a sunny mid-morning Thursday, I was at the venue. It later dawned on me that this vendor on eggs did not want to reveal his identity. He directed Daniel, his business partner, to bring me the taser wrapped in a black polythene bag. I bought it for 180 cities. In a subsequent conversation, Daniel told me that although he knows the taser is illegal, he continues to sell. The same people now, they do buy from us. I don't know the reason why I say at times to be we have to we get problems with them. What is more frightening in this open sale of tasers is that even miners can purchase these weapons. It became more terrifying than expected. I engaged a 17-year-old whose mother consented for her word to participate in this investigation. Let's call him Kelvin. He began with a text to a vendor on X. Kelvin bought a taser at Makola easily. Like me, Kelvin was told to wait in front of a popular electrical appliance shop at the Accra Central Market to receive the taser he ordered online. After about five minutes of waiting, two men approached him with a taser wrapped in a black polythene bag and took an amount of 180 cities from him. I got wind of a WhatsApp chat group called Online Drivers Group, which focused on the security of drivers using ride-hailing apps. As of October 31, 2023, the group had 113 participants. The use and sale of tasers and pepper sprays were heavily encouraged on the page. As an online, you can say 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 pepper spray and the taser gun. And you can say 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 because I but I will not be there. According to the leader of the group, the supplier of their tasers was a police officer. So the resource person who is a policeman, he is a supplier. He will have to speak with you. He has a way of assessing the kind of person you are. So where do these vendors get the tasers from? Daniel, the Makola vendor, tells me about his source. A 
Research also reveals that weapons such as tasers and pepper spray are often used to commit crimes. In June 2023, for instance, the Kaswa District Police arrested two suspects for carrying firearms and pepper spray without lawful authorization. In an interview with security analyst Dr. Ishmael Norman, he said the sale of tasers in the open market without regulation may increase ahead of Ghana's 2024 election. Before it was small arms they were buying, but right now to buy a pistol of about 12, 18 rounds, you have to spend about between 20 and 25,000 cities. <laughs> And the taser ranges between what? The price is not much. I guess it is. Yes. So, so that's why they are going for the reasonably priced um, tool that they can use for maximum effect to mobilize somebody. The control of tasers should start from the port. There's too much organized criminal activity going on in our ports. How? Does the Minister of, of Interior know how many the quantum of tasers that have been imported into Ghana that have come through unapproved routes? They don't know. They, in collaboration with customs, in collaboration with freight forwarders, in collaboration with importers of lances, importers of weapons, the Ghana Police, Small Arms, National Security, the entire security architecture should be operationalized and focus on this work. Because if we are not careful, the death toll from tasers going into 2024, 2025 is going to be greater than death toll from Small Arms. Meanwhile, Daniel, the taser vendor, says he's already getting orders for tasers ahead of the election. I have one meeting guy. They said after him, he's waiting to the election time scam because they will need a lot of it. The pepper spray, the, the taser, they will need a lot of it. So he said, I shouldn't worry. When the election time is due, they will buy a lot of us. The National Commission for Small Arms and Light Weapons exists to prevent and combat the proliferation of small arms and light weapons and related materials in the country. The Commission is expected to do this through advocacy, public sensitization, and the formulation of appropriate policies. However, a Deputy Director of Policy Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation at the Small Arms Commission, Mr. J.B. Asante, told me he is not aware of any law that currently regulates the sale, ownership, and the use of tasers in Ghana. Mr. Asante said, as part of the Arms Trade Treaty, which aims at controlling the sale, transfer, and diversion of weapons, Ghana will soon come up with a national control list which outlines weapons that are imported into the country as a way of monitoring and regulating the system. But until then, the sale of tasers is currently unregulated. However, a senior police officer who did not want to be identified told me that selling and possessing tasers in the open market is illegal. He bemoaned instances where even some police officers and private security guards purchase and possess tasers and pepper spray from the open market. The officer said tasers and pepper sprays are deployed to personnel in the police service only during special assignment with details of the weapons and officers recorded. Medically, tasers can affect the heart or brain of the person being tasered, apart from the person sustaining mild injuries. Depending on the health condition, the individual may also have long-term neurological impact. A physician specialist and neurologist at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra Dr. Frida Dot Glover explains that repetitive shocks from tasers can have a severe impact on the body. The, the nerve signals are, you know, um, it's a continuous process. So if something happens, it's like an all or none phenomenon, nerve transmission. It happens, it stops. It happens, it stops. It's not something that will be going on. If, if your nerve is con continuously stimu stimulated, the nerve that supplies the muscle 
the muzzle is going to go into titani it's going to be stiff and it will stop working and eventually it can actually kill you because the muzzle will break down it will release um, potassium okay it will release um, other muzzle proteins which will go to destroy your kidney it can the high potassium can actually cause your heart to stop she wants law enforcement agencies to properly regulate the sale and use of tasers as it is potentially a lethal weapon that requires proper knowledge for safe handling. I don't think lay people should have their hands on tasers. It's, it's quite dangerous, as, as you can tell, because if I'm supposed to release one shot and I'm giving you 50, that can definitely kill you because, like I said, the electrical signal, it goes like that, there's a contraction. So if I keep, your muzzle keeps, it's like somebody having a seizure. So we have something called status epilepticus. Somebody can have a seizure, after five minutes it's not stopping. If it goes on to 30 minutes, their brain can fry. The increasing use of tasers in Ghana raises serious concerns due to inadequate regulations, which can lead to misuse and abuse. With tasers becoming more common, there is an increased risk of them being used for intimidation or torture. This emphasizes the need for careful oversight by both governmental and non-governmental bodies. Victoria Enyonamadu News Report for the Fourth Estate.